What's up YouTube? I am Rishabh, your host for this channel and welcome back to Like It Build It. Today is Engineers Day. It is the 15th of September 2016. So today to um, for Engineers Day, I'm going to be doing a special video which is going to be life hacks for engineers. So let's get right into it. Also, happy Engineers, engineers Day everyone out there, all the engineers out there, all the aspiring engineers. So. If you have a bunch of old batteries and new batteries mixed up and you want to see which one is good and which one is bad, get them to a height about of about um, 6 inches from the ground and drop them. If they bounce more than once, they're bad. If they bounce, uh, if they just hit the ground, they're good. So this is good. That is good. And that battery is bad. So this is the the bad battery. So you can toss this out. For life hack number two, you're gonna be doing a scale. So ev everyone wears a watch, obviously. And uh, as you can see, these uh, holes in the watch are in a perfect line, and they are perfectly spaced. So we're gonna be measuring the distance between the holes like so and right here they are one centimeter between each hole so one centimeter gap between each hole so now if I need to measure something out say the size of the a bolt I can keep them I can keep it right here and now we can see it is about four holes so that is four centimeters so that is a really good way of knowing how to uh, measure something without ha actually having anything around except your watch. Alright, so let's get up to the next one. So if you have a bunch of cards lying around in your wallet and um, you carry your wallet everywhere, you can make an excellent scale out of your wallet. So this is similar to the life hack number two. What you're going to do is just mark out grab an actual scale and mark out the um, the size of the card uh, so one centimeter two centimeter three centimeter or you can do one inch two inch and three inch so that's life hack number three for life hack number four if you have a ton of uh, these heat sinks lying around um, and don't know what to do with them also if you have a ton of cards lying around maybe from the businesses or your business or something like that or if you want if you just want to keep your cards on your desk if you work on a desk uh, behind a desk job and if you just want to display it in a cool way you can grab one of these air sinks I mean heat sinks and just place the cards in each slot so it's a really cool and unique way of placing your cards inside they look like so all right let's get on to the next one right before we get on to the next one this is a circular air sink it works the same way you can put a ton more in uh, of ton more uh, ah sorry you can put a lot more cards in here than the smaller air sink so this is how it looks I think uh, this would look cooler but this is more convenient if you're gonna use this on your desk for a behind desk job so let's get on to the next one okay so with the next one if you have a ton of these tiny 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 screws lying around and you and you need them back and you know you're gonna uh, just lose them if you don't keep them properly also, if you do not have a container around, grab a tennis ball, grab your razor knife, and just make a sli slit in there. Okay, so make a slit like this one. Then you can just open it up, like so. Toss in the tiny screws. Close it up. 
and put it wherever you want and I am 100% sure this is not going to open unless you make it open and get all your screws out. So a really nice ha life hack, I use this myself uh, whenever I do not have a container around um, and this is really cool, it looks cool on the desk. Uh, I, you can also play around with this, maybe a game of catch sometime but I wouldn't recommend playing tennis with this anymore. So anyways, this is another, this is, was life hack number 5, let's go ahead on to the next one. Alright, a little update on life hack number 3 which was the, be the ho belt holes scale. Okay, so this might be a little extreme but then if you have a belt with a ton of holes, you can do the same thing with that belt. You can get multiple holes punched in. Uh, like I said, this might be a little extreme. But then you can always get it done just in case. So let's Okay, if you don't have a wrench handy but need to tighten a bolt, grab another bolt and a nut. Um, get to that much. Put your bolt and nut against the nut you want to tighten. Then go ahead and tighten it. And this will act as a wrench. Uh, I have used this quite a lot. Uh, this I have obviously learned over the net and this actually works. I have used it quite a lot. As you can see, it's pretty tight now. It's like really, really tight. All right. Most of you might be aware of this one. Grab a magnet. This is a speaker magnet. Put it to the side or glue it to the bottom of your hammer. Um, if you ever need to hammer a couple of nails all at once, put the nails up there and go ahead hammering okay so this next one is based on a rubber mallet if you ever need a rubber mallet but do not have one grab the end of your screwdriver use as a rubber mallet this might be not this might not be as good as a rubber mallet but it will get the job done okay so for life hack number i don't know <laughs> But uh, you need if you if you if you're using a C clamp and if you just want to tighten it that extra little bit, tighten your C clamp as always with your hand. Grab a PVC pipe. Boom. You can tighten it that extra little bit and give you that extra little edge. Okay, for this next one, if you don't have a, a water level around and want to know the level of something, grab a container. Uh, with a flat bottom fill some water in your okay so I filled water in your uh, you can add some food coloring or even paint to make it more visible and place it on the object in question and that will give you the exact level let me just show you that like so now if I slant it to the left the right and center okay so this is a good one okay for this one if you are ever gonna drill into the wall grab a post it stick it onto the wall fold it over then go ahead and drill right above let me just show you how that looks so I'm not gonna drill a complete hole but let me just show you the concept I'll have to fix that later but then you can always just pull out the post-it all the dust will be collected in it fold it up toss it in the trash and as you can see no dust whatsoever okay let's get on to the next one all right uh, so the next one on a razor bled I said bled on a razor blood, uh, I said blood. Gosh, sorry. On your razor blade, you will see these groove lines. So just if your pointy end has gotten blunt, then grab the razor and uh, get your grooves aligned with the end of the razor blade. Get a pair of pliers and snap. 
न्यू पॉइंट पॉइंट या पॉइंट ब्लन पॉइंट ओके फॉर दिस नेक्स्ट वन हैव अ टन ऑफ टेप्स लाइंग अराउंड ग्रैब योर सॉरी एंड डोंट नो वेयर टू स्टोर देम ग्रैब योर हैमर टर्न इट अपसाइड डाउन पुट द टेप्स थ्रू एंड हैंग योर हैमर न्यू टेप्स होल्डर ओके फॉर दिस नेक्स्ट वन इफ यू लाइक अ स्पोर्ट अदर देन मेकिंग स्टफ लाइक मी I like skateboarding. If you like skiing or surfing, grab your old surfboard, or you can grab a fake one. Doesn't matter. This is a fake skateboard which I trained on the first time I skateboarded. So I mounted it to my wall. Also, I put put in a few nails, drilled a few holes, put in a few screws, put this basket. Um, I mean, um, put this box on, which has my drill bits and my nails. and turn my hobby into my passion which sounds way different than i thought of it in my mind but then it merges to hobbies of yours like skateboarding and making stuff let's get on to the next one all right guys that is it for now happy engineering engineers day once again if you were wondering what setup i was talking about it is this one or if i did not mention it right now uh, that is why that is the reason everything was getting slightly shadowy it is a new setup i am working on uh, this t was actually right down there and this is another led light which i um bought uh, so this is the new setup i'm working on um i will obviously make it better love you guys till then see you next time happy engineers day